either time. I had a big nap like that in the tank, which you call a half moon or stand there raised by it next to the dam. And I made a circle, put the net in there, and made a half a circle. And three of my buddies was watching me. He said, Hey, Joe, you want to sell some of your smell? I said, You know, you know me better than that. I said, I haven't got license to, to uh, sell fish. I said, And I know you guys real good. I said, Have you got any bales here? He said, Yeah. He said, We got three bales right now. Two bales, he said, right in the car. And I said, Go on and get them. I'll fill them up for you. And they looked at me and they said, Really? And I said, Yeah, I mean it. So they went and got me two five gallon bales and I filled them up. <laughs> I mean, there is, that's, see, that, of course, it's, it's to everybody whatever they like, you know. And in my wife, that's her fish. She loves smell. Yeah. This, this is no kid talking about fishing. Now. I remember here, about two weeks ago, we went in the Neiman's. Uh, you know, market down here and stayed at. Yeah. We goes in there and uh, anyway, she was shopping at and I looked in the, in the freezer that we got and I busted out laughing. They had smelt in there. It was exactly one pound. You know what they wanted for it? And all the fish they had, they, they was clean there and it was that long. Probably about two inches long. They had the tail on it. One pound of smelt. You know, they, they won nine dollars for Nobody bought it. They had to throw it out. I mean, they just look at it. You get, you get what would what would you have when you put them in the frying pan? You yeah. fried them up. There'd be nothing there. You know. So what about the smelt that you got? Were they similar in size or bigger? Oh no, much bigger. Bigger. Well, I mean, this was years ago. I had smelt in there like that too. It's wow. Like that. Then when you put them, I mean, they would heat so they would, you know. Yeah. I guess I just didn't know. I I don't know yeah. about smelt. I mean. Yeah. Oh yeah, that was one of the, the there, there used to be hundreds and hundreds, probably thousands of tons, but I blame the game wardens for that too a lot of it. They, they put uh, in these coho and Chinook, these big salmon, and they grew up, they cleared the smell. I, I don't care yeah. what they say, that's what none of them smelled in. Yeah. There's still smell left, but I'd like to see them come back, you know, because a lot of people would love them. Hmm. But you never know, always something. Yeah, I'd have to look at like the information. Like maybe the DNR has collected a lot of information. Oh, yeah. they probably have a better idea of what's going on out yeah. in the lake. Yeah. Hmm. Well, it was nice talking to you. Yeah, nice talking to you. I grew it's up pleasure. fishing. I'm, I'm ready. Uh, I'm right from Sheboygan. My my dad got uh, he had a fishing truck down here. He was a fisherman. Him and his two brothers, my uncle. Uh, let's see. There's my dad, and my uncle Stan, and my uncle Frank. They all had tugs, fish tugs. They yeah. go up to Sheboygan, you know. But at that time, my uncle Frank, I know he told me stories after that, you, you know, because when, like I said, when my dad got killed, I was only uh, seven years old, and I'm 79 now, so you can figure that one all the time. Yeah, 70. And, uh, and, and anyway, uh, my uncle Frank used to tell me all kinds of stories. You know, uncle Frank, you know, I was telling him the story about the perch, perch about the purchase market there, you know, $16 a pound. I told him, he said, holy jeez, Joe, and he was, uh, I think, Frank, when he died, 83 or 84, he said, boy, I should have stayed in the business. Hey, Joe, I said, well, what did you get? I said, when you used to fish, put, you know, put your nets in. I said, what did you get a pound for perch? He said, between 15 and 25 cents a pound. That's what you used to get in Sheboygan. Hmm. Of course, that years ago, you know, the price was always going up. Yeah, for sure. You know. Well, hey, nice talking to you, bud. You too. Have a good day. Too much of a diversion, I hope. Um, it was interesting. It's nice when other people engage me in conversation rather than me trying to engage them. So I cherish those moments. Um, as random as they may be. Um, I hope that got picked up. I didn't. I didn't turn the camera on him. I figured that would be, uh, I don't know, impolite. But I hope you heard him talking. You heard me talking as well, my reaction, so I am capable of having conversations with other people. <laughs> uh, sort of. My, my priorities are a little different than other people's priorities, I think. Um, people seem really uh, 
they're interested in their own lives and the lives of other uh, humans close to them. Whereas I'm just kind of an, an eye, an eye really far away that likes to look at you know, whole, whole things. Like the earth is just a big petri dish, sort of. <sighs> but, I mean, I'm I'm glad for all all the types of people, all the you know, all the classes, all the sexes, all the just all of them, all of the lifestyles that, that we have. I wish we had a lot more, you know. But unfortunately, some can't exist with others. I don't understand, but I guess there's. It really boils down to resources um, and uh, schemes, sort of uh, arrangements. Yeah, and I really value, like especially big cities. I can imagine. rather uh, put the camera like not on my face like let's see if I can pretend for a moment that you're seeing what I'm seeing it's hard because I can't feel it I mean you get a sense of what I'm seeing as I'm walking around of course you don't get like the, the peripheral that I get much better We'll get there. Cameras are a fairly new thing, and we have, uh, oh my goodness, like all this uh, virtual reality type stuff. <coughs> I mean, you combine, you combine features or um, technology, like the things that make um, Google Street Maps, that sort of. Uh, Thing possible with the the uh, camera rotating you know combine that with virtual reality um, and then just just this sort of an activity like vlogging like I'm doing right now just walking around I mean what, what would I do would I just hold it out maybe put it on a stick in front of me so that you or I would put it where I wanted the other person's eyes to be. You know, like if, if you're walking in along with somebody, um, you might want to put it, you might want to put it next to you. But then, yeah. Oh, oh gosh. There's so many nice scenes and events, you know? Like, uh, I don't know, I'm just thinking of, like romance now, like, uh, you know, people walking down a beach, and, and they could be having a conversation like this, where they, they're just talking, um, or one, one person's just talking, and yeah, I, I, it would be nice to have it two-way, I'm, I'm just thinking sort of one way now, like I'm doing now, but anyway, in, in the sort of one-way situation, thinking like if I were to you know like when I look I look at myself that doesn't look great what if I look into the um, if I look into the camera you know you get an idea that I'm looking at you right now I mean just imagine imagine if it was let me just try to simulate it if it was like this if I was just walking along, you know, and then I said, hey, you know what, or, or, let me try this, you know what I think, everything is so beautiful, and, uh, you know, but nothing is, is quite as beautiful as you, my eyes went on me, that's wrong, I wanted to look right into the lens, but 
Anyway, I think you get the picture. It's gonna be amazing. I have no, no, uh, I, it's obvious to me why Facebook would go and buy like the Oculus Rift, but it almost seems like a big sort of joke, unless Facebook fights it, you know? I don't know, am I gonna buy something? I do wanna buy maybe a piece of chalk. I am a little bit thirsty. Um, I don't think they have chalk in this grocery store. I'll go to the dollar store, that way I can get dollar store. Uh, it's a little market. Some, a wide variety of cheap things, whereas this is a grocery store. Used to be a Kroger's, and then it was a Glenn's. I think it's only been Kroger's, Glenn's, and the Save a Lot in my lifetime. Um, I'm trying to remember what this this uh, Dollar General used to be. I do remember the sporting goods store, and this is actually really good to see. They have uh, bicycles there. Maybe kind of like a well, like a new sporting goods store. Hmm. We shall have to see. Now open. Should I go? Oh, you mean it's like open, open. This is this is kind of new. This is new. I've never seen this before. This store here. The cycle. So, ah, get it right. I can't. Just put it there. It's the cycle and Harborside Sport. Cycle and Harborside Sport. Cycle and Harborside Sport. That doesn't roll off the tongue very well. What, what would you call it? Harborside? Harborside Sports. But it's not sports, it's sport. Are they open? Oh, he's not. There is a guy in there, though. I just saw a guy in there. Kona. I remember we used to, we used to talk about Kona. What's the price tag on that bad boy? Let's see what the price tag is. It's on the other side. What do we got here? Oh my goodness. 1429 for a Trek 10 speed. A little bit, but it's a window model, you know. Window models are always more expensive than any others. What else do we got? I love this. Oh my gosh, the freaking wheels on this thing. You probably can't tell by that, but freaking huge. I had the I had the pleasure of riding a bike similar to that. Well, this is just a nuclear. Bike. I get it. I get, I get what they're trying to do. There's a laundromat over there. That's cool. I'm really glad to see this is here, though. What are the hours on this? It is uh, spring hours, Monday through Friday, 10 to 6. 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Saturday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Close Sunday. We need a day off to ride our bikes, too. <laughs> That's awesome, though. I'm glad. I'm glad we have a, a bike shop besides uh, besides cobblestone and Walmart and that crap. Nobody wants that. And I don't know. I mean, I love the guys at cobblestone. Don't get me wrong. But anyway, I wanted to get. I wanted to get um, a stick of chalk. Hello. Um. Where would I find, like, um, sidewalk chalk? All the way in the back, on that. Way back. Okay. Okay, thank you. Maybe we will get a, something to drink, too. Maybe a tea. Um, 
once I get out, I'll start talking um, more. That guy was, um, it was nice to talk to him. See these, these boxes of um, flowers? It says two ninety nine and then a dollar. Um, I bought some of those. They were a quarter a piece. I bought like um, like a whole a whole box of them. They had a mark down of like a quarter a piece. And then I just I just I poured them out into the um, into the river. Probably bad of me, but I was hoping that they would they would um, seed. You know, and then the river. If if they'd have washed up on the shore of the river. It was Bagley Street. You can look on, on a map um, where uh, M32 comes into Alpena. And then you would take a left, and there's a Bagley there. I mean, I bought them at the Walmart. You know, shame to say I shop there, but some sort of. Um, anyway, yeah, I bought a whole bunch of them. And, um, and I just poured them where the bridge is into the river. Um, I think it was, it was less than $5 for, for all of them. And to me, it was worth it, but I didn't see a single flower, um, that year. Uh, I did it in the middle of the summer, though. I mean, actually, it's more towards the end of the summer, and they're probably supposed to be planted in the spring, so it's probably, you know, I, I got it wrong. <laughs> Timing, you know. We're talking about timing. And we shall continue talking about timing once I get out of here. But I have to find that. Just one chunk. One little stick. One little stick of chalk. All these little toys and gadgets. Slinkies. Slinkies are always fun. I like, I like those sponge balls. I like to juggle, so... I'm, you know, I'm not really good at it, but... So, uh, um, I don't know how much these are. There's no, there's no um, dollar thing on there. Fake poop? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna go ask her how much these are. Cause maybe I'll, maybe I'll buy three and then I'll set the camera up and I'll try to juggle and talk. That would be silly. I don't know why I would do that. Cause I'll wind up dropping them for sure, and it'll just be distracting. I don't see the chalk. She kind of sent them in this sort of a direction, but I don't see the chalk. Um. Oh, there it is. Eight pack. An eight pack of sidewalk chalk. There they are. Okay. I'm seeing some large, large packs. Eight packs, 15 packs, uh, 25 piece pack, 12. Tw I, I, don't, I don't need so much sidewalk chalk. <laughs> I need one stick. One stick of chalk. Where can I get? I mean, I could just use a rock, but... Well... Excuse me. Um... I don't know. I'll go with the, uh... Uh-oh. Spilt the balls. Anyway. I'll go with, uh... The smallest. The cheapest. The cheapest is probably the better way to go. Maybe the... Eight is a dollar fifty, and that's not bad. You know, I could give the extra pieces to somebody. Eight is a dollar fifty. Fifteen is two dollars. Twenty-five is two fifty, and a twelve pack is a dollar fifty. The twelve pack. Twelve pack is smaller pieces. Um, I don't know. I, this is why I don't like shopping. I don't, I don't like shopping. Because, I mean, I can think of all... I'm, I'm probably going to give them away. I'm going to give them to somebody. Do I want, you know... 
I think it's cool having, um, these are good for foam baseballs. Um, foam baseballs or the high bounce pinky balls. I'm going to ask her how much the, the high bounce pinky balls are. There's no price tag on it. I assume they may be $2 a piece. Um, if, if they're a dollar a piece, I will buy them. If if they're two dollars a piece, I might not buy them. Yeah, screw it, I'll buy three. There's so many. I mean, these are great. They're great balls for for juggling. Probably they're not the best because they're not really heavy. A little bit denser would be a, a better. But too many options. I don't like shopping. I don't like being in stores. Um. too much, too many things to think about, I guess, had I predicted, had I thought about this before coming in here, it would have, uh, would have been easier, maybe I'll try to incorporate this experience into my, my uh, talk today, um, I don't know what to go with for something to drink. Um, so many choices. Um, <laughs> I usually, if I ever buy, um, like water, I usually get a gallon of water to drink, but that's, that's usually because I only buy water, um, when we're on road trips, or when I'm traveling on the road with somebody, so, I just, I buy, a a gallon of, like, distilled water or something, and then just drink that, um, I'm at 22.20, so this video's gonna